Warning, you may see some unsafe practices and safety precautions being ignored. Make sure you always read and understand all safety guidelines that came with your tools. In other words, do not try this at home. Alright, now on to the heater block. Now, my aluminum square stock that I picked up is too thick and a uh, quarter inch is too thin, so I gotta mill this down. Since I ain't got a mill, I gotta use my lathe. Uh, this is a half inch uh, milling bit I'm gonna use to to take off a few millimeters of that half inch square stock I've got right here. Now this quick change tool post has a half inch uh, clearance inside of it so it's pretty ideal for uh, holding this in place while I mill it down. I've been working on this one already, uh, working on getting it to just about right where I want it. Now that's just a hair over a uh, half inch, but that's fine. Now the specs say that I need about eight millimeters thick. Uh, this is a little. Uh, I've been milling it down to a little closer to eight and a half, so eight point four be fine. That way, uh, I got plenty of room for the heater block uh, for the heater cartridge to go in there. I was using those uh, uh, resistors, uh, which they were pretty thick and. I needed more room for those. Now, uh, these quick change, uh, I could set the height on them with that little nut right there. And, and of course, this, this right here is the ideal position for, for that. Getting everything locked down nice and tight. Now, of course, I have, I have the sound off, uh, for the machine right here, uh, milling this down, especially taking off this much, this much at one time, uh, this uh, puts off such a horrible, uh, loud, obnoxious scream that uh, it's very unpleasant to listen to. So I, I, I doubt that you guys would want to even listen to it, uh, even on low volume. I put my milling bit away. I don't want to bump it or scratch it or chip it or anything. Now the specs say that it needs to be eight millimeters thick with a twelve millimeter by fourteen millimeter uh, block. Now a uh, uh, half inch. That's about twelve and a quarter. Twelve and a half. I think it's twelve and a quarter. Uh, Uh, for the thickness, so half inch is just fine uh, for the width. So here I'm marking my 14. Now the line I marked isn't quite perpendicular and uh, straight. That's because uh, the end right there. Uh, my last cut right there was done by a Dremel. Now I just recently got this in a yard sale. It was only $20. Uh, for the portable bandsaw. Now the blades on it cost me more than that uh, for a three pack. 
Now I don't have a vise set up in my shop. I don't have a quite a solid enough surface to uh, install it on. Uh, so this is just uh, being propped underneath my lathe right now. Uh, I do not suggest that anybody do what I'm doing right here. It's very dangerous and uh, you're about to see a, uh, a skip. No, that wasn't it. Yep, there it is. And another one. So I'm just going to go ahead and brace that uh, piece up against that guard right there. and we're through. Alright, final dimensions. 12.8 and about 14 and a half now neither one of them cuts are straight so now for my holes I gotta drill through it uh, it gives me positions uh, where it needs to be from each edge so I went ahead and marked a uh, cross hatch section to give me the center point where I want to be uh, right where those two lines meet where I need a drill uh, so I'm going to use a center punch here so that my drill bit won't wander and that is for the uh, one piece nozzle that I've already made this uh, ne that next uh, one is for the heater cartridge right here So this four millimeter drill bit, this is going to be for uh, the uh, one piece nozzle. Uh, that's so that I can tap that with the 1032 uh, tap. Next up, uh, this drill bit is, uh, it's close to six millimeters. It's actually 5.8 something. Now the heater cartridge is like 5.68 I think uh, for the diameter. So uh, putting them together they, they're they're pretty snug. Just slip it in and it stays in place. Now uh, later uh, to keep that from co the heater cartridge from coming out I'm going to be using that uh, center punch uh, uh, to hold it in place. It, that'll bend the aluminum just enough that way it squeezes it in place. Uh, here's that 1032 tap uh, for the one piece nozzle. putting everything together, making sure everything fits. Well that heater cartridge isn't working quite well. That's because I got the holes too close. So I gotta go back and make another 
uh, heater block. Uh, this time I'm going to make it a little bit uh, longer. Instead of the 14 millimeters, uh, this one is going to be about 18, I think. And that gave me enough clearance for the thermistor hole uh, in between the in between the uh, heater cartridge hole and the one-piece nozzle hole. So here's the final product all put together.